So uh, today we will have a few special visitors from uh, the United States. One of them is Emery Douglas. Uh, he was the Minister of Information of the Black Panther Party of Self-Defense. Uh, he was in the Netherlands for a symposium in The Hague about his artwork and you know the political ideas of the Black Panther Party together with Kathleen Cleaver, uh, Alden, who is also a collector, and Feroz, um, who is a thinker, organizer, and writer. Yeah, this morning, uh, they, they came all the way from The Hague to visit the Black Archives. Yeah, we hope we can uh, have a very interesting conversation about some of the documents and work that they made. My name is Emery Douglas, and uh, I'm a veteran of the Black Panther Party for Self-Defense that was uh, formed in October 1966 until went on until uh, early 1980s. I'm here visiting the Black Archives. Uh, it's a very informative, enlightening historical experience to see the history of uh, fight for justice here in uh, Holland. Oh, well, my impression is that there you have a, 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 a lot of volume of information that should be shared with the broader community to inform, enlighten, the unenlightened and also in regards to uh, bringing it to get people together with a broad uh, understanding of the historical challenges that the uh, black community has has gone through historically in the past and continues to have to deal with at the present time uh, whether you agree or disagree coming together around the issues of social justice issues of concern uh, and I think that would be the foundation of, uh, for greater uh, uh, things to come. And these are all the documents about uh, the struggles that they were fighting. Um, this one too. It's just not only, it's basically all the families that came from Suriname mm -hmm. came here. They were just not um, well re received, yes. socially, culturally, but also politically, economically, mm -hmm. of course. So these are the, some of the stories. Mm -hmm. So this is a whole document. Yeah. Really, so this is from the 70s and mm -hmm. where they documented. So here it says, mm -hmm. uh, why did the police use violence against Surinamese mm -hmm. people? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, here it says, yeah, you uh, go yeah. after me because I'm black. Mm -hmm. It's like a ritual oh. to uh, abuse uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Surinamese people. Mm -hmm. And also about uh, the, the lawyer of the Surinamese people is saying that the police is lying under oath. Mm -hmm. So it's really well documented, yeah. uh, all kinds of uh, things, but, but also the activism against this. I think uh, people forget that you know, if you want to stop a people from creating a new world, you eliminate their history and what you guys are doing here is so important you are setting the foundations for resuscitating our history you know history is more about the future than it is about the past and so it's it's crucial that you begin to bring together this material and I think the the way that you're organizing to involve communities directly in that to to begin to reappropriate their own histories is a, is a fundamental necessity for a movement for liberation. Yeah, so we had a great tour, great meeting with uh, Emery Douglas, uh, Ferros and Arden. Uh, especially Emery told us about uh, his work and life at the Black Panther Party, uh, some of the artwork that he made. And it was a great moment when uh, Delano from Vereniging on Suriname joined us and showed him how uh, they were inspired by the Black Panther Party in the 1970s. This is, a, this is from the 70s. Yes, yes, you see what yes, this is? Yes. That's how he inspired us. Oh, okay. To start an organization yes. mm -hmm. with the uh, Black Panther. Yes. We used to read a lot about mm -hmm. Black Panthers. Mm -hmm. And we started an organization which we think would be similar yes. like you yeah. here in Holland. Mm -hmm. Later we moved on to our native country, Suriname. So it shows us that there's a lot of, you know, a lot of hidden history and uh, you know, a lot of connections between different movements uh, all over the world in the African diaspora. Yeah, so we will continue with this work, uh, with the project on Zatori. Uh, the coming year we will you know, invite more people, have more events. Yeah, if you want to have a tour as well, come visit us, check the website, the blackarchives.nl and join us.